After an impressive win at Michigan State, the 8th ranked Buckeyes will have to battle the clock, the elements, and a resurgent Golden Gopher team tomorrow afternoon in Minnesota. Mark has more in tonight's Buckeye Beat. After three straight night games, Ohio State will kick off at noon tomorrow, or more accurately, 11 a.m. Central Time. They'll also be playing in below freezing temperatures in Minnesota with a chance for snow showers. And oh yeah, the Golden Gophers, fresh off an impressive win of their own, are right in the mix for the Big Ten West Division title. Led by 1,000-yard rusher David Cobb, the 7-2 and two Gophers are for real. It starts with their offensive line. They're doing a great job of blocking up front for him, and then he's a hard runner. When he gets that ball, he's a downhill runner. They run a, a nice A-gap power, and they're not looking to bounce it. He's looking to run downhill, and he's a hard runner, and he gets the yards. Uh, he keeps his legs driving all the time. So, I mean, he's, he's a load. He's a challenge, and he fits well with their scheme. Minnesota's 25th in this week's college football playoff poll. The Buckeyes are 8th, and while Urban Meyer will stump for his team, at least one Ohio State player confesses to not paying attention to the rankings. Once again, I think I've just kind of gotten to the point where I just don't really care anymore. and Because uh, all, all we can do is just play football and <laughs> play as hard as we can. So um, I remember worrying about that kind of stuff last year, and, and it would affect the way I played and stuff. So this, is this year it's just... Focus on playing hard and focus on um, being a good teammate and trying to lead these guys and trying to make sure that other guys have that same mentality of just focus on what you can do and the playoff system will be the playoff system and it'll work out how it does. Early in the season, we were not a great team. We had a quarterback that was a quarterback for about two weeks uh, and did not play very well. We had an offense line that played horrible uh, that game and there was a group of receivers that were not ready to play. Uh, the young guys were not. Uh, this is the most improved team that I've been a part of. This is a team that uh, I've been fortunate to be around some championship level teams. They have a common characteristics and they're grinders. They get better each week. Those are championship level teams. So this is, uh, if, now once again, this could all be gone if we don't go out and continue to do what we do. And that's grind on a Tuesday and Wednesday and a Thursday. So uh, that's really the only thing I can really, because I don't really study other Play out, you know. I keep getting all those questions, and I don't know, but I do know a championship-level team. If the team continues to grow like they are, this there's no question. This is one of them. Among the most obvious areas of improvement is on the offensive line, but Buckeye O-line coach Ed Warner says it's no surprise to him. That's why they call me coach. <laughs> That's my job. I mean, help guys go where they can't take themselves. My job as a coach is to take players where they can't take themselves. Make no secret about it, Ohio State has dominated the Minnesota series as the Buckeyes are 43-7 all-time against the Golden Gophers, and they haven't lost in the state of Minnesota since 1981. Mike Miller from WIMA 1150, our Buckeye Insider, joins us. And Mike, certainly there are some lean years for the Golden Gophers. Glenn Mason brought them back up to respectability, then they had to go through the Tim Brewster era. But now Jerry Kill has got this program in its best footing since Glenn Mason was roaming the sidelines in you know, the Metrodome. Yeah, what's amazing about Minnesota, uh, Mark, is their history. They're still, I think, third amongst uh, the all-timers in the Big Ten in terms of conference championships. They've got, a, they've got a tremendous history, but it's a history that's been devoid of genuine success since the late 60s in terms of Big Ten champions. But, uh, yeah, I, Jerry Kill has them back. They're competitive, and they're competitive for all the right reasons. They've, they've built this team from the ground up. Last time they won the Big Ten title was 1967. It was also the last time they beat both Iowa and Michigan in the same year, something they've already done so far this season. And with this Minnesota attack, they make no secret about it. They're going to try and run the ball. They're a rush-heavy team. But we started to see some good production out of Minnesota's, particularly their tight end, in that win over Iowa, Max Williams. Yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see Supermax uh, quite a bit. Uh, but what's interesting about their rush attack is Minnesota runs these wide receiver sweeps uh, that they've perfected, I guess, as many as 10 times uh, they went down that well against Iowa and did a lot of damage with that. And it serves as a real cross-up uh, with the David Cobb runs. I mean, David Cobb alone, let's don't forget about this big powerhouse. He's very much a straight-ahead guy. He doesn't try to bounce out. He doesn't you know, try to do anything exotic. He, he'll go right at you. And to mix it up with him and using receivers in that sort of a running matter is an interesting combination that Minnesota has perfected. They blasted Iowa last week with that. Certainly much consternation from Ohio State, the defensive performance against Michigan yeah. State, particularly in the fourth quarter when the game was, was out of hand. 
But is, is this Minnesota offense, how does it compare to Michigan State's offense? I think it's considerably different. Their, their quarterback play, although Mitch Leidner is very capable, I think it was a performance for the ages of him last week against Iowa with those four touchdown passes. I, I, don't, I don't think it's even one-tenth as diverse as Michigan State, but literally Ohio State is going to have to bring their lunch pail uh, to stop this Minnesota rushing attack because they just keep pounding. The Buckeyes better be ready. When Ohio State has the ball, certainly Minnesota's defense is not as good as Michigan State's. Mm -hmm. Make no ma mistake about it. The Spartans are a very good defense, but the weather could be a big equalizer in this game on Saturday. There's no question about the weather. I mentioned the other night why I was concerned about it. I think another interesting indicator, Minnesota is just a notch behind Ohio State in terms of, uh, of interceptions uh, and turnovers, that sort of thing. Probably the pack generally and all their team defensive statistics, they're very physical, and that's what drives those turnovers and interceptions. So definitely uh, Buckeyes need to be wary of that and take care of the ball. You mentioned turnovers. Ohio State did not have any takeaways against Michigan State. They had a couple yeah. opportunities. Is that, is that a trend, or is that just one of those unlucky balls bouncing away from Ohio State a couple of different times? I would say it's as much as anything unlucky balls, uh, but also uh, Michigan State. Uh, certainly, it was a very capable. That's why I don't want to gnash teeth too much about the Buckeyes in that second half uh, defensively because Michigan State statistically was as good as Ohio State was with their offense. So too early to declare any kind of negative trends, and I'm not going to go there. Your prediction for Saturday? I want to be uh, too much just rah-rah for the Buckeyes after the big win against Michigan State. I think they're going to have to earn it. Uh, against uh, Minnesota, N take care of the football for Ohio State. Uh, I see something like uh, moderately low scoring. I see the Buckeyes winning this game something like 30 Ohio State. Of course, Ohio State takes a 21-game Big Ten regular season winning streak into the contest, the new record after they broke the tie with the old record that Ohio State held from 05 to 07. Andy, back to you. All right, thank you, Mark. Mike and Mark will have a full recap for you Sunday at 11.30. Of course, there's more from the Buckeyes available online at the Buckeye Insider playlist on the YouTube channel. Buckeye Insider back for yet another season. You can join Mike, Mark and Mike every Tuesday on WTLW at 10 p.m. to get the preview of the big week coming up. And, of course, every Monday at 9, Coach Urban Meyer's weekly press conferences on the West Ohio Sports.